Hey there, I'm Meg and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to edit the e-newsletter sign up sheet template. And if you have not gotten access to this template already, head to missmegabug.com forward slash freebies or check out the direct link down below. So we have three different formats here, all depending on what your needs are. So down here at the bottom, I had set this up for two businesses and you have business one, business two, and what this does is it gives people the option to subscribe to one or both lists without you needing to have two separate signup sheets and without them having to enter their information twice. Now, this also works if you have one business and multiple lists. And in that, if that's the case, what you can do is just delete this stuff and then just move this over move everything over, delete this line, center, and there you go. Or if you like the format of this header, just simply copy it and then delete this and paste. Let's say that you have multiple lists. What you're going to do is click on this element here, ungroup it, and it's going to allow you to resize. So just drag this here and then, whoops, you're gonna want to, this is kind of annoying, you're gonna have to do this for every single line. And then what you can do is you can copy, well, it's gonna copy everything, copy this, and then just drag it where you want it to go. And this will also help you eyeball how much you need to resize this section. So in order to copy, you just click next to where you want to drag and you can see all of the elements are being highlighted and you can click Command C, Control C, or you can right click and copy. And then to paste, you right click paste or Command Control V. So that's kind of the purpose of each of the sign up sheets. Now, depending on which one you decide to go with, you're going to want to update the template to match your branding. So we're just gonna kind of refresh what we're looking at and the first thing I like to do is change all of the colors so to do that just click on the element and then up here if you already have your brand colors input here you can just click away or if you have your brand hex codes just click the plus and paste in or type in your hex code and do that for all of the color blocks and then you can also change the color of these elements here and text, the text colors over here. So then what you're gonna wanna do is change the fonts to match your brand. So how you do that is you click and then sometimes I run into trouble. Sometimes it takes a bit to load. Sometimes I run into trouble changing the font this way by clicking on the element and clicking on the font. Sometimes it worked this time, but sometimes what I have to do is actually highlight and it can be a little tricky. Um, so if you're having a hard time getting up to the element, you can just zoom in. So sometimes I have to actually highlight the whole thing and then change the font. And then you can also change the font size. You can make it bold, italicize, underline change the alignment, and then you can also change letter spacing, which is the space in between each letter and line spacing, which is pretty snazzy. And then what you're gonna wanna do is upload your logo. So this is just here as a placeholder, just delete that, don't use it. And you're gonna go to uploads, and then you're gonna click upload media and upload your logo from your computer. And then you'll just click on it and shift it, drag it over to where you want it to go, resize it, and there you are. 
And the last thing that you're going to want to do is update the text here. So a statement that piques interest. This is basically what's going to make somebody sign up for your email list. So mine is ready to grow your business. And then down here, this lets people know what they're getting themselves into. So sign up for my weekly e-newsletter list for business tips, tricks, and tutorials. So by telling people how often they can expect emails from you, they're more likely to sign up because if they see, oh, it's a weekly email e newsletter list, they're more likely to sign up than if you don't say something because then they might think that you're like the typical email marketer and sends an email every single day. And people get sick of that. And then telling them what they're gonna get also makes them more likely to sign up. So one thing to keep in mind with all of these is you're going to want to make sure that you have a bit of a margin on either side and at the top and the bottom because most printers cannot print to the edge. So always leave a little bit of breathing room and it's also good to print out a test sheet so you can hold it and make sure everything is sized correctly, readable, and then you can edit from there and then you can just go ahead and sign, uh, print off your sign-up sheets and display them at your place of business. So that is how you update and edit the e-newsletter sign-up sheet template. If you would like to learn even more about Canva, check out my online mini course, Create with Canva. And if you'd like to learn even more about email newsletters, how to get people on your newsletter list, how to use your newsletters to make sales, check out my newest course, Expand with Email. Both of those are linked down below. I hope this tutorial helps and I will see you in the next video.